Welcome to the 2000s series, guys. This is probably one of my favorite farm builds we've done, which makes me super excited. Combined with, I love 2000s equipment. So, Nate is currently getting the 4955 loaded up on the trailer. That is sold. He's going to deliver it, and everything we're planning on selling has been sold. This is the last tractor to go off the farm. Some of the equipment we've kept around the farm, like, for example, the 4755, the baler from the 80s, a couple older tractors from the 80s, 80s and 60s and then these two old are two old farm trucks which we've retired on top of this rock if you missed last video go watch last video of the series before this because we built this entire farm and it is one of my favorite farm builds so far all right grant i'm about to take this up north they said it's about two or three hours away the farm i'm taking it to perfect i'm gonna go to john deere and spend all of our money we'll see you in a bit i'll see you at the john deere dealership I'm taking the gas i need to take the trailer there yep all right i'll see you there and there nate goes with his new truck trust me guys i don't spend all the money nate spends some money on some pretty fancy trucks too also guys if you haven't heard american farming our mobile game just got a new free content update it includes two versatile tractors a 935 older articulated a 305 and then a fuel trailer a top air sprayer and two liquid tender trailers one of them actually holds a sprayer on top of it pretty darn cool definitely check out american farm if you haven't heard of it and download the free content update if you have the game now these things just came out this is a brand new drone and it's not stable at all but th this is amazing this is the first time a drones actually came out i'm trying to keep this thing stable steady for you guys it's tough but check out this farm lay oh wind's coming at me okay check out this farm layout it is insane look i can even fly through the oh we're good we're good just about smoked the edge of the building there we're good we're good oh gosh hey bales watch out watch out Guys, check this out though. We're about to spend a lot of money, but corn prices are insane right now. Let me hop up on the computer, show you guys this article. Real quick guys, check this out. There's this thing called YouTube that just came out. You can pull up the most popular new songs. Check this out. Coming out of my cage and Let's see, I've got um, Outcast. And you can watch all the music videos. Black Eyed Peas, and that's the new Nokia phone. But anyways, the article I'm trying to get to, this is out of Nevada, Iowa. There's a new ethanol plant being built, and this is like corn price. I mean, it's a gold rush. It is a gold rush right now. Corn prices are currently going through the roof with all these ethanol plants being built, and it is insane, which means we can make a ton of money. But anyways, guys, we are leveraging everything. We're going all at it, and we're going to take advantage of all these corn and bean prices. I'm going to fire up the pickup truck. We may even sell those Mustangs to just buy more equipment, honestly. I hate to say it, but I might sell those things because we need to buy more equipment we need to really take advantage of these high commodity prices so we're gonna head on down to the john deere dealership and buy all of our like row crop and livestock equipment with the 6-0 she is screaming and she sounds really good now in case you guys are new to how we do these series this series is year 2000 to year 2010 anything in between goes the music we listen to the equipment we buy is in between that decade and there's the dealer i think a lot of their new equipment they got some old equipment out front but i think a lot of their new equipment is in the back here they're getting ready to build a new dealership um just because times are good and these guys are raking in a ton of money right during the gold rush you want to be the guy selling the shovels not the guy mining gold and these guys are the guys selling the shovels if you know what i mean oh yeah they got the thing loaded i think these case ih ones are like a year old tractors i'm guessing but then they got a lot of new deers huh why does this guy have a dirt bike on the front of a john deere 8110 on the weight set what the heck is going on here anyways they got a 1770 nt this looks like a 16 row planter they got another one without liquid on it then they got a kinsey 3600 then they got another one with liquid on it they got a 3600 they got a kinsey 3200 over there they got an old 12 row international we used one of those back in the 80s they were good planners they were good planners felt like i was just using it yesterday they got a 12 row a 16 row oh and then they got some bad boys they got a john deere 9630 i'm not sure if this is a new tractor or if it's used i think it's new and then this 9620 would be used it's got a license plate on who throws a license plate on the front of their tractor anyways we got another john deere 8110 dang planes those things are loud and then we got a 9120 this would make a good planner tractor and then they got a really old 8850 that feels like that's been at the dealership since the 80s i swear i remember seeing one here back in the 80s and then they got a 9230 that would make a good planner tractor also just got a little more horse could probably pull a big, bigger planter oh they got a case steiger 535 with trips on her this would be a good tractor to buy too there he is how much money you spent so far nothing i i swear i haven't spent a 
dollar yet. I haven't spent a dollar. That sounds like a guilty man. Stumbling uh, nope, over your nope. words, I sound uh, tell, guilty. Tell the YouTube viewers. I have not sent... Tell them, guys. Tell them I haven't spent a dollar yet. All right. So what are we looking at? Other than okay. this sexy piece of equipment right here. Hold Whoa, up. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let you two get a room. I'm going to go look at some deer. Oh, wait a minute. Go get inside it. That has more monitors than your PC, bud. <laughs> Holy Toledo. I <laughs> did a lot of monitors. What is that? Is that is that Climate Field View? I've never heard of that thing. Got a bunch of Kinsey monitors. Is that a, They call it an iPad? Dang. I'll tell you, there's a bunch of stuff in there. This is a plant tractor right here, man. This is a Kinsey plant tractor. So, all right, we got one tractor figured out. She's mine. We got to talk about price, Nate. We got to talk about price. We'll see how much it costs, and we'll see how many hours we're on it. I think a 1,000. That's nothing. Yeah, 1,058 is what it's got. Now, here's what I'm talking about, Nate. Check this thing out. John Deere 8110. Okay, it's a little higher an hour. It's got 4,000 hours on her, which this was their main plant and tractor. I'll fire her up. But where's the monitors? I don't see the monitors. Like it's got a 2630, there. man. That's all you need. It's got a John Deere 2630 in her. Okay, guys, for those of you guys who are your big AMS guys, 2630s probably didn't come out yet, but we're going to leave it in the tractor. John Deere 8110? I think we can get that thing. Does it come with a dirt bike? That was the question. I hope not. That's a ugly dirt bike. Plus, I've heard this thing breaks down a time or two. And then what we can do, Nate, is we could throw that 8110 if we bought a 1770 NT. We could throw the 8110 on the 1770. I mean, that'd be a perfect setup. Okay. I'll let you get one of those. And I either want this one, one of these... Or one of I think we'd be better. We'll talk to a salesman, but buying a 16 row 36 heart, I think that would be the perfect player to go behind that 335 if if that's what you want to buy. Yeah, a little blue and red. That sounds perfect to me. Okay, guys. After some debating, they got some really nice tractors here, but we want to be pretty price efficient with this. And this case 535 over here, same price, same hours as some of these 20 series John Deere's. And this thing is coming at a hard K less than these John Deere's. They're asking to 200 grand for this and we need a big four-wheel drive so i think we're gonna purchase this case dagger 535 i mean otherwise some of these john deere four-wheel drives are 350 i mean pushing 400k for them and they don't have many hours on them versus this thing i think we get a pretty good value buy with the 535 stagger i think let's do it nate i think let's do it now there is one more thing we need we need this tractor right here at the end because we got rid of our old uh loader tractor uh, that's loader right tractor. and we need i mean this is gonna be our cattle tractor basically we could run a loader on the 7800 that would be perfect and then, yeah, this will be our cattle tractor. And, Nate, this could spray, too. It's two-wheel drive. 7,800 could pull the sprayer. That'd be perfect. And I'm thinking for tillage, they got two different field cultivators back here. 2410. This is, like, brand new, guys. This is going to be kind of expensive. Nate, how much are they asking for it? Uh, $105,000. That's not bad. I think we could swing it. Yeah, well, this one right here is supposed to be a lot more abrasive than that one over there. It's supposed to get down deeper and rip it up a little more and more like a uh, plow. So, I think that may be the better idea so that we're flipping our topsoil a little bit better. Let's do it. Okay, for total pricing, we got the 335, which is going to cost us 150000 We have the 8110, that's pretty high hour tractor, that's going to cost us 80k. We have a 1770 NT with liquid, that's going to cost us 80k. We have a used Kinsey 3600 planter with liquid, that's going to cost us 65k. The John Deere 7800 is low houred, it also comes with a loader for an extra 10k. This thing is going to cost us 105k just because it's low houred and the last tractor the case stagger 535 is going to cost us 200k and the john deere 2410 is going to cost us 105k that brings our total to 785,000 dollars so i just paid the salesman and we are down to negative 25,544 dollars now the thing is we don't have much cash right now but we don't have much debt either and for most farming operations right now they're running a good amount of debt and we don't have that i think we have like two or three hundred thousand dollars which between our total assets is not that much debt when you consider all of the land we own. So we're going to get this out. We're going to plant. We may have to go in a little more debt before planting season on an operating note, but we're not in a terrible shape just yet. Maybe once I get an eye on another green tractor, we'll see. Oh, well, you haven't thought about the best part. We haven't even bought a combine yet. It's what are bankers for, Nate, for now. I hear that. All right, you want to leave your truck here, and let's go ahead and get some of these tractors all moved down the road? Yes, sir. Ready to rock and roll? You on the CB there, Nate? Yeah. Perfect. Me and Nate are heading down the road. we got to come back for some more equipment after. He just rolled through a stop sign. I looked both ways. I was safe. We got 13th gear. We'll ship it to 14th. 
Shifter up to 15th and 16th. We'll hit road gear. Oh, yeah. This is going to be nice. Nate, how fast is that 335 going? Uh, it is going a good old 26 miles an hour. Okay, we're losing momentum. We got a downshift going up the driveway. 8110. I mean, this is a heavy planter behind us, guys. And we got to keep her slow through the driveway. We'll get the 8110 pulled in, and I'm just going to probably back the planter on in, most likely. There we go. Right there should be good. Of course, before we start planting, we'll rip the uh, dirt bike off. We got all the equipment back and inside, but first things first, we got all of our cattle bought. Um, we had cattle since we rebuilt the farm we had to sell them quick and then buy them back we didn't take out any money for that because we didn't get anything when we sold them so we've got all of our cattle back we've got a lot of calves too that we need to feed out in this cattle lot it's not that full yet eventually it'll get fuller so that's one of our cattle lots and then we have this one over here and right now we don't have any silage to chop or anything we just have hay so i'm gonna feed them just our hay bales here i've got to hook up the semi pull it out and then we'll feed them some hay bales the tractor that's gonna be kind of our tour tractor slash probably sprayer tractor is this 7800 should be a perfect tractor for it put her in reverse and then nate is currently getting in hydrous bars from the co-op he might be back with them but we got to put in hydrous on starting today for our corn and so me and nate are going to be doing that i'm thinking we're going to use the big four-wheel drive the 535 and then the magnum with 335 horsepower and we'll run two in hydrous bars we would use 8110 but it just doesn't quite have enough horsepower for some of those in hydrous bars and nate's already got our seed ready to go we've got some channel some pioneer and some ag venture i've never planned any ag venture but we got some ag venture also okay so we'll start grabbing some of these grass bales off the top here there we go put it in reverse there there's a reason we have the rear weights on this is because when you get a bale up here it gets pretty heavy so it's nice to have the rear weights on the 78 heart lift her off oh yeah it's super nice to have the weights son of a gun grant there we go this seat is heavy i think we honestly need some more weights on the rear of this thing okay we got a rear weight on the back of this thing because i was tipping way too much there and we'll grab the others off and i forgot where the the feeding point is on this i've used this we used this in a past series i think it's like right towards the middle if you drop off a bale towards the middle i gotta double check though wrong way grant there it is there she goes perfect okay we'll grab another bale off i'm just gonna feed them a couple we'll kind of save these for storage it's march 1st so we got like two months until hay season really kicks off so i want to be careful about using too much of our hay look at the little calves all rolling around there oh up or down great and we'll throw just one more in there and these guys should be good just gotta put the loader down far enough to where we don't smack the building with it there we go we should be good for now i'm gonna shut the chore tractor off we'll just park her here and i'm just gonna back the semi in under storage because i don't think we'll need this semi dude i love this hoop building it works so good for hay storage you can just pull through back stuff in there works awesome nate already got one of the anhydrous bars back here and he got it on the big applicator so that means this will go on the 530 35 case and then he's got to get a small one i think for the 335 because i don't think we have enough horsepower to pull that many shanks so we'll fire up the big beast the 535 with trips hook her up and start pulling some smoke there we go we've got our all weighted down 535 horse have narrow trips on her so we'll sometimes we'll take off these and you just run row crop duels on it works pretty good for this tractor so i like around these instead of some big floaters sometimes which is pretty nice this thing sounds super good too there we go we'll back her up we got a pto and a three point it's kind of rare on a tractor like this and there we go we got the hydraulics connected jacks up and then we got the draw bar connected. We should be good to go. These tanks are full of anhydrous. We're ready to rock and roll. So on our map currently, we own 21, 19, 20. And then we own this field out here, 96, 102, 101, 100. I think for fertilizer, we're going to put all 21, 20, 19 into corn. Same with this field into corn. And then all these will go to beans. So that means we got to apply anhydrous to just all these fields going to corn. Now we are going to need a bit more hay also. So we've got to keep that into consideration that some of this ground we may have to turn into some hay ground and actually i'm going the wrong way i'm going to cut i forgot there's no good way out to this field back here we got to cut around here oh uh, hopefully i don't smoke the hydrous bar on top of this shoot we should be good there we go but yeah i forgot our way back to this field is through this little path and you guys are wondering probably where our field cultivator is that thing can't fit in a shed so we have to park that outside there's this perfect little spot to park all of our implements kind of like our more junk pile or implement pile that we just park on the side of the machine shed that way nobody can see it farm doesn't look ugly and it works out super good okay we'll unfold the hydrous bar i'm not sure why it's coming up with lime application on precision farming it's kind of strange yeah we need more ph here and then we're gonna need more nitrogen so we will need to put on some lime of some sort across here okay me and nate are rolling we are setting in hydrous at 135 
kilograms per acre. I should know what that is for pounds, but that should be enough for corn. And then we'll come back and side dress some too if we need some more. But um, we are rolling. For some reason, I can't change my automatic application rate. Only Nate can change it for me. So I had him set it all up, but um, we're rolling. I'm just going to drop this thing across the waterway. It's probably fine. Leave the shanks across there. Nate, how's she pulling for you? She's she she's doing pretty good. Try to stuck on it all. Yeah, that thing only, how much horsepower does that thing have? 335 horse, right? 300 or something, yeah. You're supposed to have 350 horse on that, that toolbar back there. So wait a sec, did you get the big toolbar? You yeah. pulled the big toolbar with a 335. That's, that's supposed to be like a 500 horse toolbar, man. Nah, I don't know about that. She's pulling like a cake. Well, gosh dang, perfect. Hey, this is one of the best trucks we own. Small, compact, and has no horses. And then if you guys look on the map, there's me and Nate. We're putting an hydrus on. This is pretty cool now. Usually it's some green tractors out here in the 2000s, guys, but we went red. We went red on some of our bigger horse tractors. Of course, once we make some more money, we'll probably buy some green ones too, and some more red ones. You guys know I like spending money on paint. You also like debt. Sometimes. If it's for paint, oh yeah, essential. But really, where debt comes in handy is a land. This is going to be a tight turn. We're just going to have to cut our anhydrous right on the corner. We probably won't have good corn, but there's no way we can reach that. We will st still probably come back with a fuel cultivator pass because that fuel cultivator, it's kind of a little cheap, but it actually has a plow pass to it too, which will give us a little bit of yield bonus by having that plow pass. So we will come back with a fuel cultivator pa pass before we plant corn. So Nate said an AB line on diagonal. So we're cutting a diagonal across the field here, and that's how we're going to put anhydrous on. Nate, we are knocking out this field so quick, dude. It's kind of a small field when you got like 50 foot in hydros bars. Hey, I ain't complaining. Gives us more time to get planting started. Exactly. No, nah, but these, this field is a little bit smaller. Those bean fields is where we're going to end up having to put a lot of stuff down. Because I don't know about you, right now I'm only putting down 12 gallons per acre. Yeah, I'm just shoving my bar in the tank right now, trying to get straight. Hey, Grant, do you want to just go ahead and fold up and head on over to one of the bean fields? Yep. I'll finish this last little bit. Yeah, I'll start it and then you finish that. I'll get her folded up. Nate, I don't think I got an entrance out of this thing. You think I can make it up the ditch? Ah, send it. You'll I be fine. I, I think I can. I'm just going to crawl slowly up the ditch. Okay, we're going to see if this 535 with trips can walk up the ditch. I think we can. There we go. There we go. Now, I've got a fence here, and it's. I don't know if I'm going to fit the tractor through here. It's going to be a tight fit to get into this field. We'll see what happens. We'll throw in road gear quick, even though we're going like just a little ways down the road. Nate, <laughs> we may have to be ripping out some fences. Oh, dude, this is going to be a tight fit. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Okay, so the tractor. Right, you're making it. You're good. You're good. You're good. There we go. Okay, we fit in here. Say this much, I wouldn't fit a quarter in between. Hold on, Nate. Hold on. Hold on. Nate, did you just rear end me? No, I came pretty close, though. <laughs> we came pretty close. Back her up. Back her up just a tad bit. That way I can put an hydrous down right at the field entrance. Okay, we'll drop her down. There we go. Should probably put her in forward gear, though. Perfect. We'll just cut right along this edge here. I'll crank her up into, like, I usually run 12th gear with this. We can run pretty quick, fast putting on hydrous. This works pretty good. Okay, Nate's knocking out the end rows. Guys, these are some small fields. Me and Nate, even though we don't have much capital, we're thinking about going and buying a larger field because now that we got bigger equipment, we can farm a lot more acres. We had a little compaction spot in the field last year, so Nate went and took the disc ripper, ripped it up, so that's why there's some plow marks across the field currently. I don't know about you, but there's nothing better looking than a tractor going through the middle of the field like this. <laughs> Gosh darn it. This guy always wants to put hydrous on at an angle, even when we have a nice square field. Oh, you okay. gotta put down an angle. You don't want to be going the same way you're going to be playing it. True, true. And there we go. Me and Nate run side by side here. Look at our neighbor over there. He's got the two older wagons and he's got like a 8820 combine. What does he think it is? The 80s? Probably. I don't think I've seen him since the 80s. <laughs> be honest with you, I don't think I've seen him since that harvest we did. Is he alive still? I don't know. We don't want to find out either. And there we go. We are done. Nate's already on the road. Head to the next field. So we got to fold up, squeeze through the tight entrance, and head to the next field. Throw the hazards on, and we know we can fit through here, so we should be good. There we go. Dude, I love this tractor. I'm a big fan of it. Unfolding. Drop her down and let the big boy eat. Let's roll. Probably should throw the hazards off. I am loving the setup of our farm over there. That thing looks awesome. The only thing is we kind of got rid of some hay acres. So me and Nate got to figure out where we can get more hay acres. We may have to put some of our fields into grass. Okay, guys, Nate's finishing up the field. I have to quick go run to the kids' basketball game. They're playing their rival. Teton County's playing their rival today. So we'll see how they we'll see how they end up doing. But I got to run to that quick. Cows are fed, and those cows are fed over there. This is a super exciting series. I can't wait to get planting on this. Hopefully, we can make some good money and then expand our acreage next year, like buy more and more land. So it should be a profitable year. We should be able to make a lot of money. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series and definitely check out Nate's channel down below. We'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm pumped for it. Peace.